Okay, I've done several of these for DTF knocking out the black background, but I'll show you and give a little deeper explanation. The first thing I'm going to do is check my size here. I wanted this to be big. It's at 300 DPI. The width is 13. So that's what I'm going to go with there. And now I'm going to make a copy of this art then right click and convert to smart object with it being a smart object if i double click it opens up the smart object in a different document this allows me to go to mode grayscale bring out the levels control and this is where you're really deciding what you're going to use as a mask to knock out the other file so typically where this bar of solid black ends being 100%, I pull the shadow end right to here, about right here. And now when I start pulling this highlight, everything you see in pure white, that's going to be protected. The art is going to be at 100% in the white area. It's only what's left in gray that'll end up getting halftone. So as I pull this around, I'm really looking for the fringes up here. I don't want too much of that going on, but I do want some gray in here to halftone. Once it's there, I'll go to image bitmap, and now I'll switch this to halftone screen and hit OK. Now 30, you can go higher, but the dots will be smaller, or in this case, the line tones. 30 is pretty good. Angle 26. I like line tones instead of dots. And when you hit OK, now if you go in here and look, you can see the mask has these line tones in it. Now when we go to close this document, we want to hit Save, and we'll jump back to our original document, and that smart layer has changed. Now if I select all on this layer and copy, I'll hide that layer, come down here to the original art, and add a layer mask, then this you have to option on the Mac or Alt click on the PC. And then we're going to paste that halftone mask in there. Now, when we click on here, this is what your transfer is actually going to print out like. And if I fill a layer below this transfer with black, it sort of simulates what it looks like on a black garment. 